dinosaurs will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the following Channel 10 special presentation. felt on a basketball court I can do any, any and everything that I've seen anybody else do and still add a few new twists that were mine on my own. He could hang around a few more years if he wanted to, but hanging around is not what he's about. The only hanging around he's ever done is around the rim for seemingly hours at a time. Dr. Jane Walker slam and reverse. Black shots, assist. Ice cream, back. Doc, the Julius Irving story is sponsored in part by Miller Beer, made the American way since 1885, and by your local Midas muffler and brake shop. No one can throw a party like the fans of Philadelphia. I come back, not as a player, but as a fan, as a spectator, as a citizen, that I could know in my heart and physically see up in the rafters signs of this organization becoming a family. That's the only thing that's missing right now. And it's not a great request, because this is the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. Hello, I'm Al Meltzer. Hard to believe that Julius Irving has played his final regular season game right here in the Spectrum. So emotional, so memorable. It was really a night I think all of us were hoping would never get here. Selfish, perhaps, but who wants to see such a brilliant basketball career come to an end? Sure, there's still the playoffs, but Sixer fans now find themselves in a position similar to those who have honored him around the NBA. Realizing the end of an era of excellence is now at hand. Thanks, Doc. The Dr. J farewell tour had to be the biggest of its kind in sports history. Every team and their fans wanted to say thank you, but not goodbye. They expressed what they felt for Julius from the heart, honoring him in ceremonies where he received many gifts, some of which were serious, others humorous. <laughs> The city of Seattle was rocking in February as the King Dome was the site for the Doctor's final All-Star Game appearance. Yeah, it's going to be a very special day because it's Doc's last All-Star Game and we're pretty psyched up about that. So we'll probably go to him a lot today and see what he can do. The league's top players wanted the Doctor's star to shine the brightest. Michael Jordan, who was most often compared to Dr. J, was the leading vote-getter by the fans. He got to start the game in the backcourt with Julius though he had volunteered to bench himself in favor of Doc if the situation called for it. It was very exciting, you know, it was more or less, I wanted him to win MVP, and, you know, I was playing a point guard position, which was not my natural position, but, you know, I got the fun of just starting with him and playing with him in his last game, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy and elated that I got that opportunity. Julius never missed an All-Star game in his 16-year career and was a starter in the last 15. The 1987 All-Star Game was very special to him because it provided one last chance for him to team up with Moses Malone. Moses Malone! Uh, you know, Doc, he played great in the All-Star Game and um, has just contributed, you know, to play with Doc one more time. The full impact of the farewell tour on Sixers fans had to come on Doc's last trip to the Boston Garden. The Celtics and their fans paid tribute to Julius in a way which added warmth and class to that bitter rivalry. They offered him a piece of the famed parquet floor, a clock, and most of all, their respect. We've made some mistakes over the years, and so has he. 
And the biggest one is the fact that we never had them in Celtic Green. While growing up, the doctor dreamed of playing for the New York Knicks in Madison Square Garden. A sick touch for his finale there included having a number of famous doctors on call. First of all, I just said that I think you're doing a brilliant mission oh, yeah. by retiring when you are right on top. <laughs> Why, thank you very much. And I brought your book. <laughs> because now that you will play less ball, you can have, have more time, more time. for sex. Right? Aside from being given a trip for two to Australia, this was truly a heartwarming testimonial shared by Julius and Turquoise Irving because they began their life together in New York. Julius was presented with aspirin signed by players around the league for the many headaches he caused them on the court. The Forrest Kelly, Star Trek's Dr. McCoy, offered the special handshake for Dr. J as he's off into a new frontier. Meanwhile, the Knicks and their fans could only think about what might have been. Perhaps the most touching moment on the tour for Julius himself came when his old team honored him. Though they're now in New Jersey and not New York, the Nets and their fans reminisced about their days atop the ABA with Dr. J. They gave him a car, brought in his family, old teammates, and broke down their hero with the highest compliment of all. Officially a game with the Washington Bullets brought an end to the Dr. J farewell tour. However, such a long road to retirement would seem incomplete without a warm homecoming to cap it off. affair between Philadelphia and Dr. J is far from over. His number six will be retired by the Sixers in a ceremony early next season. And placed right here in front of the spectrum, there will be a statue of Julius Irving, which will serve as a permanent tribute to the man who will hold a place in our hearts forever. We love you, Dr. J. I love you, Dr. J. Dr. J, you're over the rainbow, and you're definitely a winner, and I love you. That does it for today's adventure. If you're new here, please subscribe. Take it one step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big old like and a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. Right on.